Hi, I'm Brent. Today we've got an update on the brakes with the MY15 WRX. And as you've known in the past with our previous video updates, this is our MY15 WRX R&D car here in Australia. It was the fourth one delivered in Australia, whilst the first three uh, belonged to Subaru from uh, demo vehicles. And we're also proud to give you another first. These are the first set of DBA slotted rotors fitted to the WRX worldwide. Now, the DBA rotors are made here in Silverwater um, with the benefit of these aftermarket rotors having a higher uh, tolerance towards heat. They've got the slots in the rotors that get rid of the gas under high load. They have the ability to wipe the face of the brake pad to keep it clean, which gives you an increased friction or better braking grip from the coefficient of friction. And the other good thing is they look, look pretty good as well. Now what I wanted to show you is what the difference is between this particular rotor and the previous models because as we've spoken before, the stud pattern on, the, um, on this model Subaru now is the same as the STI and if you look closely, uh, DBA have got quite smart and they've multi-hole drilled these rotors so they fit the earlier model ones as well as the new model WRX because this rotor is a common size across the Subaru range but the only difference is the stud pattern. So what I've got here is the original factory rotor. So you can see it's obviously only got five holes for the wheel studs. But what I have got here is the DBA 5000 series rotor. And you can see it's actually a smaller rotor because it's off the earlier model WRX. But this particular rotor is an alloy hat with the cast iron friction surface. And this design rotor in the correct size will be available shortly as well for this particular model to suit the stud hole pattern in the middle. The advantage of the 5000 series rotor is it's got an alloy hat in the middle which stops the transfer of heat from the friction surface to the hub assembly which bolts onto the wheel bearing. The other advantage is by having an aluminium surface here it mates to the back side of your alloy wheels and transfers the heat a lot better because aluminium transfers heat better than cast iron. And the other advantage is because there's less mass between the centre and the outside they are less prone to cracking. And the other good advantage is, is if you wear this part out, you don't have to replace this. All you do is unbolt it with these special um, nuts and bolts, replace the friction surface, buy a new rotor from DBA and put it all back together again. The thing that we want to touch on a little bit more detail here is this particular rotor is the DBA 4000 series rotor. Now the 4000 series rotor has got a better quality uh, iron content. It's a lot more tolerant to high temperature loads. Um, you'll notice it comes with the um, heat paint on the outside which can indicate to you um, the temperature range that the rotor has been to, through if you're pushing the car a little bit hard and these are the types of rotors that we've used for quite a long time on all of our track cars and our race and rally cars here in Australia. So that's the front rotor, let's just quickly go around the back, I'll show you what the rear rotor looks like. Again. It's a 4000 series rotor, it's slotted with the DBA painted T3 slots um, which are multi-directional um, so that uh, they're not a left and a right handed rotor anymore. Um, the interesting thing which we've spoken about before is the back of the WRX has got a solid rotor um, and this rotor is designed to replace the factory solid rotor as well. Um, just as a side note, the BRZ actually has a ventilated rotor um, like the Toyota GDS which has a wider caliper which if you want to and um, stuff around with the um, wheel studs you can actually on the holes for the rotors you can actually cross cross replace them and go to a better quality rear rotor if you want to improve your brakes on the back but when it comes to a car this size the braking efficiency on the back is not as heavy as what it is on the front but that in a way also contradicts itself when you're thinking about the BRZ. You sort of wonder why Subaru put a ventilated rotor on the back of that car. But anyway, that's for a different topic. So for more information about the brakes on your Subaru, go to the page on our website. You can go to the performance parts, look up brakes, and it'll give you a whole heap of more information. Of course, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Check out our other video updates here on our TV channel for information, particularly on the Subaru WRX, the MY15 model. We're constantly updating it. And no matter where you are in the world, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.